All right, our last exercise, number three, is going to use C-View, which is a program to visually align cytochrome C amino acid sequences for all six of our organisms. So to do this, we need to first download C-View onto your computer. So go ahead back to Google and if you just type in C-View align sequences, it'll be the first thing that pops up, which is probably do a C-View. So click on that and go ahead and scroll down and we are going to download C-View for MS Windows and it's a self-extractable archive. So we'll wait for it to download. And it'll go ahead and open here. So go ahead and click Run. And let's go ahead and save it to the desktop. So when it says Extract To, go ahead and click on the dot, dot, dot. And let's choose Desktop and say OK. So then click Extract. And now it's located on your desktop. So if you go ahead and look at your desktop, you should have a folder titled CV4. Double click on that. And click on the CV icon that looks like this. And now here is what's called your alignment file drag zone. So what we want to do is go ahead and take all of those sequences we have and highlight everything, including the carrot and the name of the species. Copy, and click into the alignment file drag zone. Now here's the key, you can't do just a simple um, right click on the mouse and paste, you have to push control V. And when I hit control V, it says you are about to add to this alignment for sequences, go ahead and click confirm. And so here we have all of the amino acid sequences lined up for species one, two, three, compared to Homo sapiens. And these single letters, again, are your amino acids. So right now, it's all mixed up. But what we can do is actually go ahead and align them. So the program is going to try and best match them up. So for that, click on Align, Align All, and hit OK. So what CBU attempted to do was to line up amino acid sequences that match in position. So you'll notice here, for species 1, 2, and 3, they're all different in the first position, the second position, and so on. But notice when you get to here, you see a G for all four of the species. So that means that this G is conserved, or you have the same amino acid, for all four species, and you can even see the position it's in, which is position number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then notice right next to it, the Ds are all the same for all four species, and that's in position seven. So that's showing you where their sequences align up or match, and gives you a hint as to how similar organisms are based on how well their amino acids match. So the more similar the amino acid sequence is between species or individuals, the more related they are. The more different the amino acid sequence is between two different individuals, the more diverse they are. So with that knowledge, go ahead and look at that exercise three and look at those questions and go ahead and answer those questions based on the alignment of the seven sequences that you are looking at today.